Good morning, guys. Hope you all are doing well today. Uh, I'm just getting up and around and getting ready for the day. We've got uh, uh, some semi-exciting stuff to do today and um, got to go get some paperwork signed for a project that's upcoming and just going to do a little running around in Mammoth. We've got uh, a storm moving in tonight, so it looks like a system's coming through and it's not much, but um, that could change. It's a, it's a solid uh, system for three, three days. So it's calling for about two to four inches, um, three days in a row here. So um, that could actually develop into something where uh, we can go have some fun with the new Ranger snowplow and uh, get some good snow removal footage for you guys. So, but for today, it's Friday. Um, Lori's up here, so we're gonna be doing some running around. Um, and we're gonna go take a look at uh, the old bunkhouse that uh, Plow Brothers and uh, and all the guys where we actually, this is where we got started up here and we finally um, moved out of that bunkhouse. So it's been, uh, we've been in that thing since somewhere in the neighborhood of around 2017. And uh, and it was, it was uh, how we got our start basically up here in Mammoth and how we were able to uh, keep people working with us and everybody kind of stayed together. A lot of a lot of good and bad memories from that place but uh it was it's part of our history up here so we'll go take a look at that it was supposed to get cleaned make sure that the house cleaners got it all cleaned up so we can uh, hopefully we'll get our deposit back um we put a lot of wear and tear on that place but um it was it had a lot of wear and tear before we got there so don't feel too bad about it um and uh, i just want to make sure we get it cleaned up and uh put back together for the owner so he can rent it out to somebody else and uh it did us good for the time that we had it. And um, yeah, so uh, let's get out here and get the day started. Oh, we need to, looks like Owen got my car warmed up. So that's good. Sadie's going to the groomer too this morning. So not too cold. It's, uh, it's in the thirties. Just unusually uh, warm the last couple days. So that El Nino system just bringing the warmth. And uh, then you can see things have been melting off every day and then refreezing at night. But yeah, we're gonna get loaded up with Sadie and Bud here. And you can see it's really overcast off this way. And uh, overcast that way too. Well, today's the end of an era for us. This was our first home in Mammoth, our employee housing for several years. We've actually had this place, I believe since 2017, somewhere around that time. We kind of built our whole company with this house, uh, uh, with the guys that worked for us. And uh, lots of guys that have worked for Allied throughout the years have, um, have been in this house they've stayed in this house and now we've finally got our own um, deal our own employee housing and so we we just had it cleaned we got all the furniture out of it everything's clean and uh, smells good doesn't look so great this thing's been through wars it's been through battles but it was a, uh, a staple of our company since 2017 to have this place here. And uh, you can see your breath in here right now. It's pretty cold. But it doesn't look too bad um, comparatively. Could be a lot worse. It looks just as good as it did when we moved in, honestly. It was, it was in pretty rough shape when we got the house. And uh, it doesn't look any worse than it did when we moved in, so... Uh, Not too shabby, but yeah. So this brings a lot of memories back. And uh, we're just, Lori and I are just checking it real quick, make sure it's all clean. The owner's gonna come um, to give us our deposit back. So we're just making sure everything got cleaned up the way it should. And to me, it looks like they did a pretty darn good job, did the best they could do with what they had. And uh, so I'm sure the owner should be pleased with it. Okay guys, this morning we got a delivery coming up from Bakersfield. 
We got the 914 uh, loader plate bringing it up. I'm gonna go down there to Sherwin. He just pulled up here. Check it out. Get it offloaded. Get that thing in business. Get it going. It's a beautiful day out here. It's nice right now. his trip was. 914 is here. On there, good. Check it out. See how it is. Looks like everything rode pretty good. Getting it, getting it unstrapped. All kinds of good stuff. Well, how was the trip? <laughs> yeah, get this thing offloaded. Get some chains on it. Get ready. Fired right up. Beautiful out here today. So Clayton's gonna offload this thing, got our little jacks down there to help stabilize it. Gonna roll it down off of there. See how it goes. good so far. This thing's got the uh, King's bucket on like the uh, John Deere does. So it's a little bit big for this machine, but I'm thinking it's gonna, gonna be okay. Might not be able to pick up a full bucket, but pushing stuff like that should be fine. Problem. Good. New trailer did good. Well, new new facelift on it. <laughs> Over here at the airport, getting the uh, Cheney reach all. Load it up quite a while and a few little mishaps. Got it on there. As you can see, it's hanging right on the edge. Loading it up. The uh, little stabilizers back here kind of, kind of had a little mishap there. They were already kind of bent a little bit, but. Now they're been a little more. I'll show you the carnage of that. They're not real well. It's got a little bend to it. That one there ripped completely off. So I have to get some upgraded stabilizers. But all in all, it's on there. I got her strapped down. Clayton's gonna hit it back bigger. So, so over here on the Connex buildings, again today. This here purling, two roofs overlapped a little bit, so I just kind of notched it out a little bit, sitting directly on the other roof. So now this roof here is going to go right over the top of the other one. Turned out pretty good, no welding needed. Got finished up with the uh, purlings on the second. Connex building over here. Got about half of that one done. It's all screwed down and everything. Ryan's gonna take this back. Owen's gonna take the forklift back to everybody. And we'll be back tomorrow. Hopefully to finish up all the sheeting.
Connex buildings. That's what they used to look like. Now we have two done, finished roofs over the buildings. Here's our little transition between the two roofs. Came out pretty good. Had the one little notch and a purling right up in there. Pretty good. Boy, what are you doing, bud? What a mess. What a mess. Okay, well, the 914 spent its first night up in cold country. So, it's not real cold but we're still gonna give it a shot and do a cold start on it and see how hard it is to start because that's always a good thing to know. We talked about putting a block heater on this and um, I thought we we got one on here, but I'm not seeing it. And uh, I gotta call the mechanic because we did a bunch of things to it, but apparently we didn't do the block heater like we did over here on the John Deere. So let's see how the colder weather affects the start. I'll go ahead and let those, uh, I'll let those glow plugs cycle maybe two times. Just make sure we got glow plugs going. Okay, here we go. Not too bad. Now I gotta check on this fuel. You definitely need to put some fuel in it that has the uh, additive because this machine came from down south and I'm certain, probably lucky that it did start because I'm certain there's no, uh, there's no additive in that fuel. So we better double check that before uh, the storm comes in. I'll have uh, Owen add some fuel to this thing. It's pretty cool. We got matching. We got a baby tink bucket. And then we got a big boy tink bucket. So, I mean, as you can see, that is just a monster bucket. I think it holds five yards. And uh, when it's... And more than that, when you got it fully heaped up, this one's more like three, which we know already that if we put heavy material in this one, that uh, it'll lift the back end up on the tractor. So we're looking at some options with uh, Mike and the boys and Dan about doing a mod back here. I mean, that's all the counterweight that it actually has, which is very little. So we're probably gonna make some kind of plate, some kind of bolt up plate that doesn't block the, it doesn't block the hitch. Maybe like somehow it goes underneath. I'm not sure just yet where we can add uh, quite a bit of weight to that. And then we don't have to worry about uh, this thing lifting up in the rear so easily. So uh, there she is in the snow. And uh, this one here, we had um, those issues with it not wanting to start. And the uh, mic went through all the plugs, the electrical plugs here, and then down here underneath, because there's one under here. Uh, where is that one? It's somewhere. Oh, it's right there. It's actually right there. Um, put dielectric grease in them and cleaned them all out and hasn't been started in uh, a few days so let's try this one too and see if it does the, uh, the cold start <clears throat> we'll 
cycle that. I like to cycle it twice. Do it again. Looks like that crack in the windshield's getting worse. Definitely need to get uh, this thing, the windshield done on this one like we did the other one. All right. Little puff of smoke. Fired right up. That's a good feeling to have right before a storm. Knowing that your equipment's up and ready to go. Doesn't seem like it's gonna be a huge storm, but you know, we're ready for it. We got the chains for this. We'll probably try and uh, get those on later today or first thing in the morning, I'm not sure. Probably later today, the chains are right over there. So in a box, we just need to dig them out. Get a few guys over here and get them on. So we took Sadie to the groomer. Bud's over here solo for a couple hours. She's getting all prettied up, She's getting her all dolled up, got her, got trimmed and uh, washed and all that good stuff. So Sadie's gonna be looking like a million bucks. We'll, uh, we'll show you the result when we go to pick her up. Okay, we just got confirmation that Sadie is ready. So she's all dolled up and we're gonna come in and see how she's looking. I'm sure she's gonna be real happy to see us. Oh, there she is. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Look at her. There's Sadie. She's happy. <laughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> Yay! Sadie's happy. You look, you're all fresh and clean, huh? <laughs> That's about the, as excited as, as she gets right there. Oh boy, Sadie's gonna see Bud and she's all clean, huh? Here, come on. Ready? Get up there. Go up in there. Bud, what are you doing in the front seat again? Hey, no, no, bud. You're, you're being a bad boy. You're not supposed to be in the front. Oh, there's Bud taking a dump. We are ready for war, guys. We got loaders. We got pioneers. We are ready to go. And then Sadie and Bud, that's our support group. Back at the warming hut, we're gonna grab a little breakfast, Lori and I. There she is, that's the boss. <laughs> <laughs> 